How would you measure the success of Google search? This question is repeatedly asked in a lot of companies. After this video, you will be very, very confident of solving any metrics based question like top 1% of the people. So let's get started. First, we will clarify our understanding of the Google search with the interviewer. So the Google search is a search engine which understands the intent of the user's search query and gives the high quality relevant result in very quick and easy manner. Now to define success as the North Star metric, we will discuss the stakeholders involved and what is the value they are driving out of the Google search. Intersection of that value will give us the North Star metric. So there are three main stakeholders. The first one is users. Users want that relevant and the trustworthy answer to their query as quickly as possible. The second one is advertisers. Advertisers want to reach out to relevant users when they are looking out on result via Google search, right? The third one is Google. Google wants that every user should be able to get relevant information so as to have a good retention. So what is the intersection? The intersection is the high quality relevant result in very quick and easy manner. If that happens, user will often come back to the search for anything and advertiser will be able to get relevant users to target for their offering and Google will earn more advertising revenue for that. Right? This is how the whole landscape is looking like. Let's call a high quality and relevant search a successful search for a moment. So what should be the North Star metric? Should it be number of successful searches per day or per week? Or should it be number of successful search per user per day or per week? These kind of counter question you can expect in the interview setting. So given the Google search is a matured company, Google search is already being used by two to and half billion people. So the user growth rate will not be that much. That is where the number of successful searches per day or week may not be that powerful North Star metric. A more powerful North Star metric could be a more powerful North Star metric would be number of successful searches per user per day or a week because they talk about the depth of the search. One can still argue that it can be skewed via power user, but overall this should be a better metric given the position and the maturity of the Google search. So I am going with the number of successful searches per user per day or week as a North Star metric. Now let's discuss how the true successful search will look like. Google search assists the user with the query like it does with the auto suggest. Then it should be able to understand the intent and give the relevant result. And finally, it should present the relevant result in a manner which should be very intuitive and easy for user to get the information. Currently, Google use multi format structure or heterogeneous layout where you can find text, images, question related searches, right? That is the search experience part. Now you have understood this. You will be able to at least get a head start in any question related to this search. So that is very, very powerful. This user journey. If you really like our explanation, there is a course where we explain concept like this and there are a lot of exclusive solved problem as well. You can find the link in the description box. You can also think about cracking the PM interview cohort. Next batch is going to start soon. The batch size is very, very small. Do check it out the link in the description box. So now we have a North Star metric. Let's try to break it down into different levers. So these are the L0 metrics. So total number of successful searches per user per day is equal to search session per user per day multiplied by searches per search session multiplied by search success rate. Let's focus on the first term that is the search session per user per day. That means if user has done at least one Google search, it will be a search session, right? So this term is telling you the frequency of the search session. The second term will tell you the depth of the session. That is, if it is a search session, on an average, how many searches are user doing? Because it can happen that you can do three searches in a search session, five searches or only one search in that, right? So depth is another important thing. Multiplying these two will give you the total number of searches per user per day. But we need to calculate the successful searches. So we will multiply by percentage successful searches. When will the search be successful? When the user has searched for certain query and he is able to find the relevant and the good quality information or the link in the first page itself, right? If users are not clicking on any of the link or firing another search, that means search is abandoned or low quality search result, right? This is how we will calculate percentage successful searches. 
you will understand it better when we'll come to the l1 matrix for the percentage successful searches so hold on for a minute okay so till now we have broken down the notch the matrix into different levers now let's focus on identifying some of the l1 matrix for each of these levers so the first one we can understand the search bar ctr that is click through rate we can measure percentage session with text searches image searches audio searches we can also measure ai mode adoption rate as well by the way we have also started ai product management series completely free end to end complex prototype we will build there like google sign in personalization back end integration right so do check it out from the i button or the link in the description box now for the second one searches per search session which talks about the depth of the session we can measure percentage auto suggest usage because auto suggest is a kind of a feature which lowers the effort of a user to fire certain query they don't have to type complete query they will just select auto suggest so it it aligns with more number of searches per search session and this is basically a search assistant this is how the auto suggest look like we can also measure percentage search assistant usage on the landing page like related searches this is how related searches look like or maybe people also ask widget this will also play a very very important role for the depth of the session finally we can also think about the multi format engagement rate as you can see here there are images news explore more section every click is basically a search query in itself which increases the depth of the session now comes the final and the most important part that is percentage successful searches we have, we have already defined how the successful search will look like let's think about some of the metric which plays a very important role in defining that as well the first one is search abandonment rate what is search abandonment rate that means you have fired a search query and you got a bunch of result on the landing page but you haven't found anything useful and you didn't engage with it you didn't any click on that that is abandoned search this is a negative metric which google would want to keep as low as possible another metric is query reformulation rate this is another negative metric which google wants to keep it low so a lot of times what happens is you fire a search query you haven't found anything useful then you adjust or reformulate the word in a query or fire another search to seek better result this is what a query reformulation rate google would want that it should be able to understand even if you have done spelling mistake if you have used some synonyms or regional words you don't have to reformulate your word to fire another search that is query reformulation rate i hope you are finding value from this you can like the video subscribe to our channel there are a bunch of super high quality content behind the membership or in the course you may also look on those as well another metric is long click rate what it is it is a percentage of the click where user stay on a destination page for a significant amount of time indicating they have found what they are looking for because sometimes what happens if you have click on certain link and you just go on to that landing page and comes back because your expectation of what you are looking for doesn't match that is bad for google because that is not a high quality result which you are looking for finally we can also measure any explicit feedback which google asks on a timely basis about the search result this explicit feedback will also play an important role in defining the success of the google search there is another question i am attaching to the i button 99% of the candidate fail to answer this question do try this this is also a very trending question after that video your product acumen will become a notch higher i will meet you into the next one till then keep learning and keep watching